What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys drop a big like down below if you guys are digging the content. And don't forget to subscribe because all the love never goes unnoticed. So as you guys can see from the title above, today is kind of an update video on all things Kicks World. If you guys are not familiar with the brand, make sure you guys go check out my first video where I pretty much lay out everything, what the brand is, who they are, and why I like it so much. <laughs> Of positive changes guys and I just wanted to kind of roll them out to you guys just in case you guys had any questions about them I always want you guys to be in the know so let's get right into it before I really break down a lot of the changes I just wanted to show you guys the shoe that I was able to pick up this month thanks to kicks world for those of you guys who watched my first video you guys will know that one of the biggest selling points to me for, of kicks world is that I get to try shoes that I wouldn't typically just go out and get really hyped about and buy and you know add them to my collection because they may be shoes or pairs that I probably am not super comfortable with and it's kind of my way of stepping out of my comfort zone. So here they are, the ALD New Balances in the red and navy colorway. I think it's a super dope shoe, but the funny thing about it is after I wore it for about an hour i absolutely hated the shoe it's probably the top 10 most uncomfortable sneakers that have ever been put on my feet and i put it on instagram and it was like a 50 50 split um like everyone was either like it was the most comfortable sneaker or people were agreeing with me and saying that it was really uncomfortable in my opinion the power phase the calabasas is way more comfortable and i think now that that whole yeezy hype is you know over with that i get to rock those and people are kind of like yo what are those so yeah win-win but yeah guys let's jump into these updates all right guys so for the first update is the restructuring of all of the kicks plans they used to technically have eight plans because there was four tiers and then you could either opt in to go for new shoes only or new and used it was a little bit confusing and for me i am someone who's simple and i don't like too many choices because then i get overwhelmed and and my mind starts going a million miles an hour. The three basic tiers that they have are gold, platinum, and diamond, and each one determines how many shoes you get to rent each month and the overall value of the shoes that you're able to rent. To help me break down all of the tiers, I didn't wanna butcher this, so I have my phone right here and I'm gonna read you guys off the different plans that they have and different perks and I guess more information about it just because I wanted you guys to have the full data here and you can also find this right on their website, so you guys know I'm not making this up. For tier number one is their gold tier. It's $79 a month and you get to rent one sneaker at a time, access to over 125 different styles and the total value that you can rent per month is $300. So there's tier one. Tier two is their platinum tier. You get to rent two pairs of shoes a month so you get a little bit more options and you get access to over 200 shoes. And the reason why you get more access to shoes is because some shoes in the kicks rotation are valued over $300 so kind of unlocks more of them for you guys and the total value of your renting for the month is up to $700 so pretty much increases by over double then guys the showstopper the the third tier the diamond it gives you the access to rent three pairs of shoes per month access to over 250 styles and you can have a total value per month of $1500 so with that guys, you literally can pretty much get every shoe on the market currently, unless it's like some rare hype sneaker, which I think is really dope. And one thing I wanna point out is you don't have to actually rent three shoes. You can opt to basically rent one shoe or two shoes of much higher value, or you can do something like me, where I pretty much try to stay at that 500 and under so that I'm able to get three shoes and then kind of just create like a rotation out of them. And so the next update that I wanna to talk to you guys about is pretty much still has to do with the structuring of the tiers. And that is that now they've created a cash back system. So every time you rent, every month that you're an active user, you pretty much get to bank some of your subscription fee into the kicks portal and you can pretty much cash it out whenever you go to opt in to buy shoes, which I think is really dope. And I think that just kind of forecasting into the future, I bet, I assume that they're gonna release like different types of merch. I can't, don't quote me on that, but I feel like you'll be able to utilize those bucks inside of your account to cash out different stuff. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that. You get $10 for the gold plan, $15 for the platinum, and you get $20 for the diamond so every month you guys can literally just start stacking up your books 
the next big update that I wanted to kind of share with you and I don't fully 100% comprehend it yet and I'm gonna probably test it out on my next round of rental, but basically you get to swap your shoes mid month. So pretty much what I feel like that means is if you have a $300 value, that's how much you can actually have checked out at one given time. So if you decide halfway through the month or you get the shoe and you're not fully satisfied with it, sort of how I am with the New Balance, you can pretty much just opt in to sending that shoe back and then you'll be able to check out another shoe at that same given month, which I think is, that's huge. I think that's super dope and I think it gives you the more flexibility to really kind of push the limits to how you rent sneakers. So this video is gonna be short and simple. I did wanna just kind of pivot into answering a couple questions that I received on my last video or DMs that I received on Instagram. Question number one is, um, and I pointed this out a little bit in my last video, but you know, when you're considering renting you shoes, yes, people have put their feet inside the shoes, and if you're like me, that is something in the beginning that kind of worried me, but I do wanna assure you guys that all of the Kicks inventory goes through a 10-step cleaning process powered by Rejuvenator, and uh, for those of you guys that didn't know, I did work at Rejuvenator in the past. I can vouch for the quality of the products, and yeah, you can pretty much go onto the Kicks website and see the entire breakdown of the cleaning structure. So they, they sanitize them, I know they UV them, they spray like antibacterial in them. So I don't feel super concerned after wearing them. And then most of the time when I do get a used pair of shoes from Kicks, it's in really good condition because basically when the Kicks team receives a shoe back, they put it through a grading system. And if a shoe doesn't isn't deemed uh, appropriate to continue renting out, it kind of just gets retired and I'm sure in the future we're gonna see some kind of portal where people are able to buy those retired shoes, but I don't know, I'm just kind of predicting right now. The next question slash concern that I did see in the comments of my first video were the long shipping times that people were experiencing when they were first trying out Kicks World. And I think that that wasn't really an issue for me, so I can't really speak on that. I didn't experience any super long transit time or anything like that. But I think with the new tier system and not allowing people to opt into a new or use plan, I think that's also gonna really prevent, you know, long shipping delays just because now you pretty much only have access to renting what Kicks has in their inventory. And I think that's a really smart business move for one, and then also it's gonna create a better customer experience because you know, if you rented a shoe that they didn't have in stock and they had to go and basically source it through however means that they have, obviously, if you've ever bought something from online like StockX or Goat or anything like that, I mean, you can pretty much expect to wait up to a month. So yeah, I think they're gonna pretty much correct that on their own, but for me, I never really had that issue, so I can't really speak on it personally. My last two questions I'm just gonna touch on really quickly. One, I kind of already spoke on it in the beginning of the video, but the question is, can you buy your sneakers from Kicks? The answer is yes. Um, I don't think it's a really big like marketing selling point of the, the team, but yes, you can write in if you decide you fall in love with a shoe, and this is oftentimes what I do. If I fall in love with a shoe, I already have it, and I simply throw it in the wall or in the closet, and uh, yeah, I just paid out, and so it's super easy process. Uh, if you have any more questions about that, you guys feel free to comment that down below or shoot me a DM on Instagram, and I'll kind of walk you through that process. The last question is, how do you manage shipping the shoes back? And I think this is probably a question that someone who hasn't tried Kicks out quite yet. Um, I believe it was somebody who was potentially wanting to join Kicks uh, programs, but it's super easy. So you basically get the shoe in a box that's just slightly bigger than the shoe box and it comes with a return label. So basically me and Jess, we unbox all of our shoes one time or we create TikTok videos out of it and then we pretty much store our boxes in our laundry room with the labels and then at the end of the month if we do decide that we're gonna not keep the shoe slap the label on there drop it off at our local ups store and it's as simple as that literally it makes it there in like one or two days and then it will basically show that your shoe has been received within your customer portal and that's it super simple guys i think that's gonna wrap up this video guys my camera's about to die because i didn't charge it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it provided some insight and a little bit of updates and if i receive any more updates i may have to make a part three guys since you guys really loved the first one and hope you guys love this one guys looking forward to catching you guys in the next video guys peace this is not gonna work in one take on my one battery bar right?